Before we kick off the video, I want to say thank you so much to Zachary Fishbarger, this gentleman right there, for being the compadre of the day. I, I cannot miss that. You got to make sure to say thank you. Now this stuff right here. Unfortunately, I had to go buy it from an Army Navy store. Yes, that is right. I spent some time with uh, old Steven in an Army Navy store. Ain't that right, Avery? So I'm actually going to make uh, gonna make another gilly suit for you guys. You need one of these. Is, they used to give these to me for free, but now since I got out, I had to pay 30 bucks for one. And then uh, some burlap. This is all cut up already. And then you're gonna need some of this. The stuff's all found at the Army Navy store. Now one of the most important parts that you probably need is going to actually be the uniform. And I hope I have the right one still. I don't remember. I may have had to turn them all in. We're, let's go take, take a look. This is all my, remember my old uniforms? I don't know if it's the right kind though. This is your last good pair. No, I know, but it's not the right camo. This is the one that they don't even wear this anymore. Those look good. One of some of the worst camo the army could have came up with. I don't think I, I got think any. Gave them. Did I give them away? Yes. On a good note, we don't have Dibani boots. Gonna have boots. These are actually terrible boots to wear out in the field, but they're very comfortable to walk around in normally. They're terrible. If you, if you ever rucked inside these boots, I guarantee you they broke open, they split and everything else. But they're really lightweight. Okay, so now I know I don't have the right, I don't have the right camo. <laughs> Oh, well, that's. Hey, open that. Way. And they're dirty too. They're dirty. Oh, <laughs> that's. They're not dirty. They're just from yesterday. Okay, that's my daughter. She's running around with underwear on her head. Yeah. We like to put uh, diapers on our head too. Okay, that's. Just. So one of the real reasons why I want to do one of these videos is because every time I type in like ghillie suits, like I'm going to click images right here. And those right there are absolutely, these are just terrible. And I mean, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. That, I mean, every single one of these is just garbage. Like, what is that? When you guys make something like this, you guys don't want to look like a furball in the woods. I mean, you look like, I mean, you don't want to look like a Yeti walking around or like a, what's about that? Like Bigfoot? Like that's less is best essentially. Like this is like, like kind of laughable. The amount of jute that person, like, what, what is that? Like, come on now. Okay, so I know I'm gonna do one of those for you guys. I'm actually going to make one. I'm just waiting on a couple of things I need. We have, uh, Sarah just ordered some shrimp netting. You gotta have some shrimp netting. Gotta cut some, it takes a long time to make one. My original ghillie suit, uh, I don't have any more. I actually gave it to one of the snipers as I was leaving, but it took me 30, I think we clocked in like 34 hours in making it. So they take quite a long time to make, but they're very, very satisfying when you do get it done. Thought I was stepping on a dog there, but it's a bag. So we're gonna knock that out at some point, slowly but surely. You need a canvas bag. I'm just, just wait. It's gonna happen. Ah, ah. Here's that wagon wheel we found yesterday. Sarah said she likes it, and I'm trying to think: is this a wagon wheel? It has to be, right? It seems so thick. Time to switch trucks. Haven't seen you in a little bit, baby girl. Sarah. I will see you. Are you going to the house? Good talk. Glad we had that conversation. It was really good. She can't hear me because the other truck is too loud. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, that's locked. Nope, that was locked. Just want to say, you look half decent in that truck. We're just going home. Okay, you're going home? Yeah. Thank God we have trucks. We can't hear each other. I'll see you in a little bit. To anyone wondering if they need a Texas lady, I promise you, you do. You need one in your life. All right, Franklin. I think we're gonna change your name to Franklin. Now, we'll stick with Clipper. Yeah, I'll tell you guys right now, I came just to move this stuff out of this unit because I'm not gonna use it anymore. That stuff was on my gate, my little door dealio. And let's just say, I kinda wish I was recording right there because that was probably one of the biggest like mm, moments in a long time. Just say every single one of those was stacked up at a at some current, but I don't know why they were doing on my door, so. So, I originally was not going to do this video, but you know what, I was like, I've read a bunch of comments about people saying, you guys copied so and so, and I, I know it's not coming from the people that watch this video or this channel every single day. It's mainly just from like outside people that don't really understand the group of guys that we are, and just, we're just a bunch of guys that like to fish and have fun. It's all 
started because a lot of the companies never wanted to work with YouTubers and they kind of thought they were all jokes. We're like, you know what? Let's do it ourselves. Let's actually go forth and let's actually do this. And for what I'm talking about is Guggen Bates. And a lot of you guys probably clicked on this video because you're wondering the truth behind it all and whatnot. I'm telling you right now, I have used a lot of baits and I would not put myself, my name or any of the guys' names on a product that we not believe is, is top. Like the best of the best of the best. Kind of like back in the day when we did the, uh, when we announced that we were with Favorite, those people right there. There was a ton of hate that came from that as well. People were like, oh, these are just knockoffs. No, a couple years later, I think it's one of the largest rod companies in the industry and we're doing very well with y'all's support. But it just goes back to proof. We will not promote and or put our names on something that we do not believe is the best and only the best. That's it, 100%. So as you can tell, I do have have just about every kind of bait on my boat I've used everything I really have I honestly have everything down to I don't use that very much ever I mean I've probably got two bags of this on my boat just to test them out this has probably been on my boat for about three years now I don't use them um, these are mainly what I've used in Florida I don't know um, here's another kind of crawl mainly going after the crawl scene here because I've seen a lot of comments about this a lot of people say we just ripped off a company and whatnot that is not true at all 100% we've spent over a year literally just making this product the best between the plastic like to get a plastic correct like the density of a plastic the amount of salt and in, in, in the smell in the packaging oh my gosh this stuff is not an overnight process we've had a team of designers like he is it's not an overnight thing we've been working on this I mean let alone the shell that it comes in you know how hard this was to get done couldn't have been an overnight process we're not knocking anything off I, I wish I could show you guys something I may have to go to the store I don't want to do this incorrectly so I may have to go buy a couple more baits okay so give me a sec I'm gonna grab everything I need from in here and then I may have to make a pit stop real quick I want to make this very clear I'm not bad mouthing any of the companies involved in this video a lot of them I, I've never actually used their product I just wanted to grab everything that looks similar or is in the same kind of category like I, I read a comment saying that we copied this bait right here, the D-bomb. I have never in my life, I promise you, packaging looks great. I mean, it looks like, looks looks like good packaging, good, good marketing packaging. Hey, I've never, honest to God, have used that bait. The packaging looks good at least. I mean, there's a lot of those baits in here. Just, just, oh, shit, just give me one second. Let me get inside. Oh, I gotta get all that out of this truck as well. Also want to say, guess what just came in? Some of that shrimp netting. Ah, that's what I've been waiting on. Um, I know it doesn't really look like much, but there you go. This is, it's, it, I guess it's kind of called shrimp netting, but this is pretty much, it's, I don't know, ghillie suit netting. I think it's just shrimp netting. Um, then I gotta get a pair of those. Those are for metal detecting. Kind of getting set up a little bit. You guys remember this green table? This is the one where we used to do all the uh, throwing the baits down right before I went out there and did the underwater footage, which I will do. I said that in yesterday's video. Um, I will do a little bit more underwater footage with those here in a little bit, but I'm gonna get this set up real quick. So give me just one second. So real quick, the only one I don't have with me currently because I'm all 100% I'm out of them for my last trip up to Michigan uh, is the drag and drop. I don't have any more of these. I'm out, but that's that's what it looks like. I got all the rest of them right here. So just, I'm gonna start setting these things up and I'll show you guys in just one. So out the gate, I wanna say this one more time. This is not me negatively saying anything about any of these companies that are currently laid out in front of me. Not, a, not, not saying anything bad. I'm literally just gonna take the bait and put it next to it. And you guys are gonna make your own judgment call. I'm just gonna go next to it. I'm telling you, there's a couple on here I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never used and I never purchased. I'm going to point them out real quick. That Jean LaRue, I've never used. Never used that one. Never used that one. I have used this. Haven't used that. I have used this. Never used that. I own a couple of those. I haven't used them in years. Uh, yes, in Florida. Yes, a couple years ago and a couple years ago. There we go. That's that. Oh, I think I'm missing something. Yep, these two right here. One sec. Now we're good, I think. I might be missing something, but this is, I don't know, this is me being 100% honest with you guys. Here we go. Ours, the crack and crawl. A lot of people have been saying that we have copied multiple one of these baits, combined them and whatnot, and, and that's not the case, I promise you. You ready? All right, here we go. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. You know, well, we'll go ahead and just pull it apart. All right, let's pull tab in there. Keeps them nice and straight. Mm, yeah, I don't think it looks like that. Nope. Definitely not. This is Yum's Crawl, and theirs has got like little rounded edges, it curls. Um, definitely doesn't look like that one. This is more of a craw creature bait. This is a space monkey. And definitely doesn't look like that. That's got two appendages on top. And this one doesn't have any, oh, it's connected. Now this one doesn't have any flaps on the end of it, like ours does, that makes it kick real hard. Uh, size, ours is quite a bit bigger. Density of plastic, ours is squishier. Clearly, not the same size, nor the same bait. Yeah, I think these ones are pretty not gonna not gonna be the same. I think it's more for the bandito bug. Those are more creatures, okay? We can all agree. 
Now we'll go over here. Now a lot of people have tried to compare these side to side saying they're the same thing when in fact they are not even close. For one, look at this. What is it, what is it kind of shape like? Plastic density, ours is softer, there's a stiffer. Backside, they got a hook thing, we don't have a hook thing. The claws, what are the claws shaped like? Look at how different the claws look. Ours are curved in, theirs are not curved in. They're pointed, they're split, two different things. It's completely different baits. And then next to these two next to it, you got, well, Honestly, these two baits kind of look identical. Two separate companies. They're like, both are hollow. But anyway, they don't look nothing like ours. Okay, so on this table, there's one similarity that we have with one of these baits on this entire table that may, that may have people ask themselves, well, you guys are copying them. No, 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 ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. We are very honorable people and we went to the company that has the patent the patent, that is right. You guys will look at these packages and they will have a patent number on them. We went directly to the company and we asked them, can we please license your patent? That is right, that's exactly what we did. We licensed the patent and we 100% ourselves have created every one of these baits are custom, like we did them all ourselves. The only thing we did is we went directly to the company that owned the patent and we asked them, hey, can we please uh, license your patent because it's a very good patent and it works. And we're gonna design our own baits and use that patent. Every single one of these baits, 100% has been custom, designed by myself, John, Perrick, Flair, Lake Four Guy, and or Scott Martin. I promise you, all custom. No copies, no fakes. None of us buying some random mold from China or from somewhere else and then just taking that mold and repackaging it. That did not happen. These are 100% custom. Next up. And also, I want you guys just to think about it for a second. When you're creating a craw bait, bait that's supposed to look like a crawfish, an acrid crawfish in the water, you're not gonna make it look like a unicorn. You're not gonna make it look like a bluegill. You, you understand what I'm saying? When you make and go out and to design a craw bait, you're trying to create the best craw bait in the world and trying to make it have the best action, the best plastic, the best scent, the best amount of salt, everything. Like, and you guys gotta realize, I'm very passionate about this. And so are all the other guys. There's a reason why I'm doing this video. It's because I wanna make it known. We are very, I mean, look on the front of the package. Look what it says, pure passion, right there. I'm telling you, there's a reason why we did it. We're purely passionate about this. Everything about this sport and our fishing, we love it. We love it, I'm getting all worked up. All right, let's move on to the next one that people have been chatting about. And that would be the Bandito Bug. Okay, this right here is one of my favorite colors. And a lot of you guys, Scott, you're gonna hear Scott Martin even say, El Naturel, El Naturel. This thing is tasty. When it comes, every single pincher is going to be attached and you're gonna pop them off. I've already popped them off for you guys, but they're all gonna be attached to the body, okay? God, that's plastic. That's another thing, when you guys grab these baits, look how squishy that plastic is. That Those appendages are gonna move like crazy. Okay, now, a lot of people, I'm just gonna kinda of focus more on like the creature baits. We can put it up next to a craw, it's the same size, but it's got more appendages, move different. Okay, a lot of people I've, I've seen say we copied a D-bomb. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, it was quite a, quite a bit different. I also saw somebody that said we copied the, the Magnum Bug. Um, well, out the gate, this one's pointy. Ribs are facing the different way. Appendages only has two up top, very big. Uh, two on the bottom, ours are short. We have four more compact, way more compact. Two more appendages and uh, yeah, not the same. Plastic is definitely different, 100% different. Ours is very soft, look at that. I mean, I'm telling you, those aren't bad baits. I want to make this known. I'm not saying any of these are bad baits. They probably work great. Also going to reiterate, when we went out to make baits, we wanted to make the best ones possible. Honestly, these three pretty much, they all kind of look the same. They should be grouped in with this one up here. We almost set it next to it. This one, of course, every single one of these has bottom appendages. These ones are just a little bit different on the Strike King one. They kind of flare out. And then these ones, somewhat the same. Same kind of deal, okay? I think we all can agree with that. If you can not look at this and tell me that you kind of don't agree, then... Oh, hey, I'll show you one more. Space Monkey. There you go. I think, uh, think I've already actually... I think I've already shown that. And last but not least, the Trench Hog. The only one that I could possibly think of that someone would say that we were trying to mimic and or copy or something is going to be the Brush Hog. But not even close to being the same... Like, I'm just going to pull it out, but I'm just telling you, that's pretty much the only one that I can mentally come up with. Like, well, they might think it's a... Just look. You have to break off, like I said, every appendage, and then I'm gonna lay it down. The only reason why I'm comparing these two together is because the size is somewhat similar, but not even close to being the same after I actually put them down on the table. I probably shouldn't have even compared these, but I'm gonna show you. This has got twisty tails, extra big flappy stuff, and then these two nubby, stubby, um, I don't know what, two arms, I guess, two appendages. This one's got four on top with flaps on it, long, 
appendages, no twirly things, and just the flap right there. Completely different plastic. Every one of our plastics are consistent, same squishiness, and then these are just, well, I'm not saying zooms and brush hogs are bad baits, like at all. I've used them before, we've caught fish on them, but like I said, when we came out here to make our own baits, we wanted to make the best ones possible. Okay, every one of them, like I said, comes in the package, you pull it out. Uh, this is a Rackley thing right here. Look at that. You have to peel it off. Everything is tagged. There we go. Now you got a jumbo mondo worm. Okay, now that's probably the last time you guys are gonna hear me go on a soapbox and show you guys a bunch of stuff all together because it's not really needed. Googan baits are the baits that I do fish and they're the most hot plastics I'm going to use. Yeah, hey. Feels good. Feels good. I know it's not a lot of you guys that are actually currently watching this video. You guys are you guys are probably not the ones that were saying all the stuff on Instagram and in videos. Oh, they're just copying. They're just trying to get money. This is not about money. Purely passionate. No one believed in us as YouTubers and thought they were kind of a joke. So we're like, you know what? We have to do this ourselves. We went out and did it ourselves. We did it honorably. We went and asked the company, can we license to use your patent? And they said, yes. Yes, you can. And then we went from there. We just started designing our own baits. It took over a year to get the baits done up, the plastics right, the salt right, the taste right, uh, the taste as in the scent. Wow, did the packaging take a long time. So anyway, all right, gotta get this mess cleaned up. I feel like I've been on this little thing for a while. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Before we get off here, I wanna show you guys, yes, every single plastic does say Guggen on it. See, there's Guggen. Every one of the shells says Guggen on it. All the appendages say Guggen right there or on the crawls and the flappy portions of the, yeah, they all say Guggen, okay. So real quick, before I hop off here, you guys, you guys are, you guys are awesome. I, I read all the comments I come through on, on the channel. I know there's a lot that comes through, but I honestly, I, I honestly read every single one. Now this, surprisingly enough, no one has said anything about, okay? I feel like I almost poked myself in the eye there. Now I'm kind of shocked. I, I guess it really, it's a hoe. It's exactly what it is. This is from the other day, the video from the other day. Now, hold on, I, I really like this. Cool, because you guys comment down below. A lot of you guys know a lot more than what I know. Now, I originally said this was a light because I didn't know what it was and it kind of looked like a light. And now after you guys say it, it's, it's a tractor fuel bulb thing. You know what I mean? After looking at it, now that actually kind of makes a little bit more sense because there's no electrical thing going in and out of it. So a light didn't make sense at the time, but you guys told me that's what it was. And then this, the thing that I said was a shot glass is actually a cowbell. Wow, hey, that's what I got you guys for. My little, my little, uh, my little gem bucket here. That's what I got you guys for. At the new house inside the garage that we're having built, me and Sarah are just having a discussion. I cannot wait till that's done. But we're gonna have an area that's just for metal detecting and then we're gonna have all these weights and stuff in the back. But I'm, I'm really getting in this metal detecting thing a little bit too much. I, I, I really wanna go actually do it more tomorrow but I'm like stopping myself because I, I don't know how much you guys are enjoying those videos. I, I really want to go do creeks and rivers and stuff. <sighs> I want it pretty bad. I want to do today. Matter of fact, should I go see what's in my backyard? Hey, baby. So, sir and I are having a little bit of a hose issues here. Whoa. What are you doing, Avery? That's an airplane. So we're having a little bit of hose issues. That's pretty much what I'm in my night on right here. We cannot get this little attachment off of the hose. So I hope you guys liked the explaining of the uh, Guggen of the bait. If you guys did, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Like that video and subscribe if you, you, you guys, you guys know what's about to come. So, hey, click that video right there. If you're hey, click the one right below it. If you haven't already, subscribe right down there. Do it, do it, lemon pieces. I love every single one. Thanks for hanging up. And I'm about to disagree. Right, right, right. Woo! -hoo!